Welcome to this week's program of SAN, Life on the Autism Spectrum. Today we are filming live from the Best Buddies Friendship Walk in Golden Gate Park. I'm your co-host Keith Halperin. And I'm, and I'm Will Burnick. And we look forward to showing you a very interesting day. Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the, to the Best Buddies 2016 Friendship Walk. Yay! My name is Will Burnick and I'm thrilled to be chosen as the co mc of this event. I'm 26 years old and I'm from San Francisco. I'm a graduate of Cal State East Bay. My major was communications. I'm also the co-host of the TV show Life on the Autism Spectrum. I have been in, I have been in Best Buddies for two years. I joined Best Buddies in March 2014 because it seemed like a fun thing to do. Now I have something to do, a place to go, a place where I feel like I belong. Yeah. Best Buddies events are fun for everyone. Since joining Best Buddies, I became a buddy ambassador and I learned how to give speeches and sit on a stage in front of a big audience like this one. This is so fun! <laughs> Giving speeches makes me feel more confident and more special. Now I'd like to introduce you to my co mc who you may recognize from last year, DJ Katie Green. We're speaking with David Chernick of Best Buddies. So David, I understand you've been involved with Best Buddies for quite a while. Can you tell us about that? Well, I've been with Best Buddies since 1991. I met Anthony Shriver when I was living in Miami, Florida, mm -hmm. and got instantly involved back then, and I have a buddy. Mm -hmm. uh, I moved from Florida, so he, he still lives down there, but we talk on the phone several times a week. Matter of fact, I've got a, uh, I got a message from him right now that he just called me. Excellent. Yeah. So I've been... Uh, I've served on the board in Miami. My mm -hmm. buddy served with me on the mm -hmm. advisory board. I moved to Colorado, served on the board there, and now I'm in San Francisco, and I've been on the board here since I moved back Good years ago. Good grief. So tell me, what, what was it about Best Buddies that appealed to you? Well, when I was in elementary school in the 1950s, there was a special ed class. Mm -hmm. So I used to, uh, to see the kids walking through the hallway with their teacher, and you know, back then, uh, people made fun of, mm -hmm. of individuals that were different, and I just never saw the humor in it. So I uh, was curious, and I used to go up during my lunch hour and help the special ed teachers. And, uh, you know, at first the parents who were helping uh, looked at me kind of, you know, skeptically, and then uh, they kind of got who I was, and that was very important for me back then to know that people... And not that it was a conscious thing, but it was mm -hmm. nice to know that people accepted me. And, uh, and I just, I, you know, I felt very close to the, you know, the students that were in the class. And so it's just an interest I've had my whole life. And when I saw this opportunity in 1991, I said, this is, this is it. Excellent. So in the 25 years that you've been involved, how has the organization changed? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> question. Uh, when I met Anthony, uh, Best Buddies had just moved to Florida. Mm -hmm. They got a, for their first grant. They, they were part of, part of the Special Olympics. They were a stepchild of the Special mm -hmm. Olympics until Anthony got a state grant in Florida for $100,000. And that got him to move to Miami. It wasn't a big, it wasn't a struggle for him to mm -hmm. make that decision. And uh, they, you know, got some donated space, office space, and it just has grown into an international organization. So it's uh, just that they, they expanded their uh, hiring program, their employment program, and uh, all their programs uh, all over the world. It's, it's quite amazing to be involved with an organization that uh, I've been with for so long and mm -hmm. have seen such, such progress. Very good to hear. So besides the walk that we're uh, filming today, what other sorts of things uh, is the Bay Area chapter of Best Buddies doing and having on uh, the planning board? Well, we're, well, I'm on the advisory council and mm -hmm. we plan uh, fundraising events and fun events. We're uh, 
Uh, we're going to be doing a dance mm -hmm. coming up with buddies, which is something we just absolutely love to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just involved in planning and fundraising, and uh, that's kind of what our role is. You know, we don't make any corporate decisions. Mm -hmm. We don't. Uh, uh, we're not too much involved in a budget process. It's just something that we do on a advisory level uh, to help the staff. Excellent. If uh, our viewers, either here in the Bay Area or around the world through the wonders of the Internet, uh, want to find out more and get involved with uh, Best Buddies, what should they do? Well, they should check to see if there's a Best Buddies in, uh, within uh, proximity to their, to their home, if they're in middle schools, high schools, mm -hmm. or colleges, where there's an uh, opportunity on a corporate level to consider hiring somebody that's um, got a, a disability. Um, then they should definitely contact uh, Best Buddies. You can always call the, the main offices in, my, in Miami, mm -hmm. and, uh, or they can go on bestbuddies.org. That's the best resource. Well, excellent. Well, thank you again, David. I know we talked with you last year, uh, and this event seems to be even more successful and positive than the last one. So very best of luck to you thank and you. all the folks at Best Buddies. Keith, thank you very much, and great work that you do. I love watching the show. Thank you. We do our best, too. You do great. <laughs> okay. Take care. You, too. We're now talking to Sarah Hoffman, uh, Best Buddies com uh, Friendship Bob Committee member, and I forget your other title. That is Buddy, Buddy Ambassador. Ambassador. Yes, thank you. So how did you get involved in Best Buddies, Sarah? Well, Keith, I got involved in Best Buddies through my school of Wallenberg High School. Back in 2009, I was a student there in the transition program, and I was told by my amazing teacher, Terrell O'Neill, about the organization. I thought, you know, this is a great place. How, how can I get more involved? How can I learn more? And how can, I can't believe that there's a place out there that I can actually make, it, make a friend. I didn't even know it, this could exist. So I was the first one to sign up for USF's school chapter and I made a friend instantly with amazing lady and she's here today her name is Alia M. Al Sharif and we've been friends for nine years. Shout out to you Alia. Woo, go, Alia. <laughs> so I want to say on behalf of Best Buddies thank you Asen for being here today and God bless everybody and may everybody walk and have a good fun and go Best Buddies. Thank you so much. Thank you Sarah. We're now talking to Jim Portuguese, Best Buddy Ambassador. Tell us about the walk and tell us about your involvement in Best Buddy. Well, uh, I born in the, um, I, I, you know, I, I was um, involved in Best Buddy when I was in the, um, w when I was a senior, when I was lower high school. And I, you know, I asked my teacher because then when I was a senior in, in Abraham Lincoln, we wouldn't have no Best Buddy. So I, Really, best buddy really changed my life, and it's just really wonderful um, um, purity, and people are great. Excellent. So, what do you do with uh, best buddies as a master? I I practice and uh, train to become a better ambassador, and I you know write my own speech, present speech, practice, and I and people look at me as a better ambassador. Where have you uh, talked to? What uh, places have you made speeches? Like uh, I give it to like I, I give you an example one uh, I give you one example I I, I give a um, a, um, a a speech at the Monterey Middle School mm -hmm. and over like I believe over two thousand students in there and they like my autograph it was awesome. Oh, excellent, excellent. So I know we were talking to a lot of people here, but what would you? you like people to know especially about best buddy well the best buddy is is really is one one it's a really one one friendship is a is a worldwide international and profit um, program and with 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 a person with disability or without person with dis uh, disability uh it's a really great people it's just really great program and hope you guys we can um uh, sign up or involve and uh and yeah, it will change your life. I guarantee it. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, Jim. And continue best of luck to you. Thank and you. Best Thank you. 
We're now talking with Kelly Neal, uh, Best Buddies Friendship Walk uh, co-chair. And Kelly, how did you get involved in this originally? So I got involved in Best Buddies in college. I had a sister with intellectual disabilities. Her name was Annie, and she inspired me to work with people with intellectual disabilities. And so I found out about Best Buddies as a club fair at Wheaton College in Massachusetts. Yay. And I was all over it, and I've been involved ever since. Excellent. So I understand you've been involved with this for three years. Okay. How, how did you get involved specifically in this friendship walk? Well, I moved back to San Francisco three years ago, and so the most natural way to get involved in any kind of organization and make new friends is to find a Best Buddies in your local area. So I got connected with the San Francisco chapter and just started walking. And um, it works out really well because my sister actually passed away six years ago. She passed away in April. Sorry, and the friendship walk happens in April every single year. So it's a wonderful way to honor her memory. And my team is the sun will come out tomorrow and the sun is out today. So I lucked out. Excellent, excellent. So what do you do as the organizer here? It must be a tremendous feat of organization and, you know, logistics and things. Yeah, it takes a lot to put this together and it takes a good team to put it together. So we've been planning this walk for about six months. We have an amazing committee of volunteers, about 15 people. We've met at least once a month or twice a month for the last six months to organize it, get sponsors, get donations, get the logistics planned out, the posters and everything. And we just have a really enthusiastic group and I couldn't do it without them. I could see that. And, and over the three years that you've been doing it, how has it changed? What have you seen from year to year? It has just gotten bigger and more exciting, and the enthusiasm is incredible. And as we get more people, we raise more money, and we can grow the programs and expand Best Buddies. And that's the goal. Really, really good. And as a last bit, is there anything that you'd like our viewers here in the Bay Area and uh, around the world through the wonders of the Internet to know about Best Buddies that they may not have already heard? Best Buddies doesn't only help you find friends, it helps you find lifelong friends with all kinds of abilities. I met my buddy Sharon through Best Buddies and we became friends instantly. We weren't even paired in a friendship, we just clicked and we love to hang out and eat burritos and go to baseball <laughs> games and just make trouble all over the city. So if you get involved in Best Buddies, you're going to find friends for life. Excellent. Thank you very much. Much appreciated and very best of luck both for the walk and going forward. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And now we're talking with DJ Katie Green, co MC of the Best Buddies Friendship Walk, you know, who's been here a number of years, and we're going to find out more about that. DJ Katie, how long have you been involved, and what has been your involvement with this? Uh, I have been involved with Best Buddies. This is my third year uh, co MCing, and uh, my involvement has just basically been coming to the Best Buddies Northern California Walk each year and MCing and keeping the energy up. and. Uh, just being a part of this awesome event. Excellent. Now you'd mentioned briefly a little bit about how you had originally gotten involved. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Uh, I actually, I work for Cumulus Radio in San Francisco and there's a series of radio stations in our building and a friend of mine who worked on KFOG had asked me if I had any interest in helping with this beautiful event that takes place at Golden Gate Park and I knew nothing about it. And I said, sure, I've got nothing going on that day. I'd love to check it out. I came out here and I fell in love. I, and every year, Alia sent me an email saying, it's almost time. Are you going to be back with us? And I gladly say yes, because it's just something that uh, I can see brings smiles to a lot of faces, including mine. Excellent. And I know your presence has really helped out with the, you know, the energy and the positiveness of this. So in the years that you've been doing this, what have you noticed as far as changes? Uh, change is first thing I noticed is the size. Uh, I mean, the, the first year we were here, um, and I can say that the group, it wasn't small by any means, but in comparison to what I see this year, I think I heard there's over 700 people walking this year, which is just amazing. 72 teams of people that came out on, a, on their Saturday for this beautiful event. And um, I've noticed that, and I've also noticed the amount of, of involvement from the community. It seems that more people see this event and they see it for how awesome it is and they want to be a part of it. So it's cool to see it grow. I've watched it grow over the years, which is exactly what I would hope it would do. Well, thank you there. Do you have any uh, words about uh, the event and the organization for our viewers here? I would say that if you are watching this wondering, you know, what it would be like to actually come to a Best Buddies event, I really recommend Walk, going on their Facebook, 
following them, uh, following the organization and keeping an eye on what they do throughout the year and actually showing up next year because you'll be a part of, of this awesome thing and actually be able to say you were there and helped out and donated and participated. Excellent. Well, thank you again, DJ Katie, and best of luck to you. Thank you so much. We're now talking to Jessica Foltz, who is State Director of Best Buddies. Okay. So, Jessica, how did you originally get involved in this? It sounds like you had, from what we were talking about Quite before. A journey. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so, I first got involved in 2005. Um, I was a college student at the University of Connecticut, and I found out about Best Buddies at an internship fair. And I actually was an intern for the Best Buddies Connecticut office for about a year uh, before I got hired for the organization. Really good. So over the years that you've been doing this, what have you done? What have your jobs been and how have you grown here? Sure. So I actually, uh, from an intern, I was hired on as a high school program manager. So in Connecticut, I oversaw 17 uh, one-to-one -one friendship programs at different high schools. And then in 2007, I took a promotion to come out to California as a program supervisor. So still I was working with mainly our school friendship programs. And then in uh, 2012, I was promoted to director of state operations and programs. Um, so I started overseeing friendship, jobs, leadership development, and um, all of our staff and then most recently um, worked my way up the food chain and now I'm the state director so I oversee all of our development efforts all of our programs and all of our staff in the state. Well, that sounds like a very involved job description. Yes, it's very involved but it's wonderful I mean I couldn't be prouder of just all of our efforts here today and just bringing everybody together for this great cause um, it's just it's one of my favorite events of the year. Excellent. And I'd heard th earlier that the fundraising goals have been well exceeded. Can you tell us more about yeah, that? Absolutely. So our initial goal was eighty-two thousand dollars, and the last I heard, we were almost at ninety-four thousand. So it's absolutely incredible. <laughs> that is fantastic. What do you attribute that to? How have you, you know, what's been making this fantastic growth? I think people are just so bought into the mission of what we're doing that they're just expanding their fundraising efforts into their networks, into the community. We have some great employer partners that are out here um, that partner with us. They hire our buddies and they're just rallying the troops to support Best Buddies today. Excellent. I know at the very beginning you discussed the, you know, the very generous employer partners. If some of our viewers are either independent business people or connected to potential sponsors, what should they do to help out Best Buddies? So they could go to bestbuddies.org. So we're actually in all 50 states and over 52 countries. So there's lots of ways to get involved. You don't just have to be here in California, um, but you could come out as a volunteer. You could be an event sponsor. You could hire a buddy at your own company. You could connect us with other businesses that might want to sponsor or hire a buddy. Um, you know, there's plenty of ways. We'll find something for you to do. <laughs> Excellent. And I think last thing, what's uh, next on the show for Best Buddies? Next on the show? Well, next Saturday we have our Best Buddies uh, Friendship Walk down in Long Beach. So we're going to expect pretty good turnout, around 1,000 people to come out. Um, so that, that's what I'm focused on right now. <laughs> no rest for the weary. No, <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very much for your time. And again, congratulations. It's a super successful event and, and continued success going forward. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>
Well, that is this week's program of Ascend Life on the Autism Spectrum, live from the Best Buddies Friendship Walk in Golden Gate Park. I'm Keith Halperin. And I'm Will Burnick. And until next time, very best to you. <laughs>